so the first thing i would like to suggest is support your answer with examples in diagrams wherever possible so i would suggest to read out the assertion statement separately check if it is correct or incorrect you have a question which is based on difference hello students welcome to allen overseas i hope you all are doing good as well as your preparations for the upcoming class 10th board examinations are going well you must be waiting for some last moment strategies and tips in order to attempt your paper effectively so i am here to provide you the guidance for the chemistry subject so we'll start with the overall marks weightage for chemistry in chemistry you have a single unit that is chemical substances their nature and behavior in which you have four chapters chemical reactions and equations acid bases and salt metals and non metals and carbon and its compound the overall marks weightage given by cbse is 25 mark but this is variable to some extent now students chemistry is a very high scoring subject if your strategies are in right direction so i'll provide you some last moment preparation tips so the very first thing i would like to suggest is to start your revision with the chemical reactions and equations chapter as this is the base for every other chapter in chemistry so it will just ease out your revision process the next thing i would like to suggest is carefully study and memorize every chemical equation and diagram given in the ncert book as this time the sample paper released by cbsc was containing more picture based questions it was more visual based paper so just go through the diagrams very very carefully of the ncert book next thing i would like to suggest is do not neglect any activity or table given in the ncert book and from the chapter acid bases and salt i would suggest that to memorize the applications of the importance of ph in everyday life as well as remember the common names preparation methods chemical formula and uses of different different salts such as plaster of paris bleaching powder washing soda baking soda just go through them very very carefully the next thing i would like to suggest is from the chapter metals and non metals just go through the reactivity series of metals very very thoroughly as it is going to help you in every chapter of chemistry like starting from the chapter number 1 displacement and double displacement reaction then in the chemical properties of chapter 2 and 3 and some part of chapter number 4 it depends on you if you want to just go through the mnemonics or the way it is given in the ncert book also from the chapter number 3 i would like to suggest is to go through the flow chart of the steps involved in the extraction of metals from their ore just go through the that flow chart given in the ncert book it will just ease out your process of the revision of the metallurgy next thing i would like to suggest is focus on the carbon compounds and their nomenclature containing functional group now you have to focus on just the functional groups given in the ncert book and from this chapter only you have to practice making isomers of hydrocarbons as well the next thing i would like to suggest is again from the chapter carbon and its compound only you have to make the short notes for the chemical properties of carbon and its compound of ethanol ethanoic acid then oxidation addition substitution why i am focusing more on this because this is the topic where most of the students are facing difficulty in this particular chapter so i would suggest to just revise them by making the separate notes for this particular topic now student these were some preparation tips now i would like to give you some paper presentation and high scoring tips so the first thing i would like to suggest is support your answer with examples in diagrams wherever possible this will increase the chance of you getting the full mark for a particular question the next thing is don't miss reading the case study paragraph as most of the times you'll get the answer from the paragraph itself next thing is do not get stuck to a particular question Do, don't waste your time basically prioritize your attempt first attempt the question you are more confident for next thing is attempt all the question don't leave any question unattempted because sometimes if the question itself is having an error from the cbsc then cbsc provides the bonus mark for that particular question and let's say if you are haven't attempted that question then you will not get the bonus mark so that's my suggestion next thing is practice word limit and leave a gap after every answer like you have to just uh, practice 7 to 9 words in a particular line with proper spacing and after every answer leave three line gap this will make your paper more appealing to the examiner 
नेक्स्ट थिंग इज राइट योर आंसर इन क्लियर एंड लेजिबल हैंड राइटिंग एंड अंडरलाइन द की वर्ड्स अगैन इट विल मेक योर आंसर शीट लुक मोर प्रेजेंटेबल टू द एग्जामिनर एंड दे कैन क्लियरली रीड आउट वॉट यू हैव रिटन नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग अटेम्पटिंग असर्शन एंड रीजन क्वेश्चन इफेक्टिवली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम स्टूडेंट्स गेट रॉन्ग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी क्वेश्चन एज दिस रिक्वायर्स योर प्रॉपर जजमेंट सो आई वुड सजेस्ट टू रीड आउट द असर्शन स्टेटमेंट सेपरेटली चेक इफ इट इज करेक्ट और इन करेक्ट देन रीड आउट द रीजन स्टेटमेंट करेक्टली चेक इफ इट इज करेक्ट और इन करेक्ट इफ द रीजन स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट देन लिंक द असर्शन स्टेटमेंट विद द रीजन स्टेटमेंट विद द टर्मिनोलॉजी बिकॉज इट विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट इन गिविंग योर करेक्ट जजमेंट यू कैन अप्लाई दिस थिंग ऑन द क्वेश्चन यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग दीज डेज नाउ how to just write the answers for the assertion and reasons questions in your answer sheet i have taken an example of the chemistry itself so how will you attempt this question first read out the assertion fresh milk in which baking soda is added takes a longer time to set as curd yes this is true baking soda decreases the ph value of the fresh milk to below 6 this is false so how will you be writing the answer for this particular question you have to mention the section always whenever you are going to start a section then mention the section over there next thing you will mention let's say this question is on uh, number 17 so you'll be mentioning answer 17 and let's say assertion is true and reason is false is coming at option number c so you'll be mentioning option c along with that i will suggest you that to write assertion is true and reason is false write the complete answer given in the options for all the mcqs along with mentioning the option number i will suggest you to write the complete answer okay this is my suggestion the next thing is you have to balance every chemical equation you are mentioning in the answer sheet as the examiner who is going to check your copies they just love balanced chemical equations so don't forget to balance any chemical equation which you are mentioning here we have two example obviously this equation is more informative in terms of the state of the reactants and product this is balanced as well but this is not informative and this is unbalanced so you have to always write the chemical equation in this particular form also to make it, make it more informative you can mention the names of reactants and products just below these so you can write nitrogen hydrogen ammonia next thing is in case of any missed out question then mention for example right now you are in section d and you have missed a question of section c so you have to mention again section c then let's say that question was question number 15 so you have to write answer 15 and then start writing your answer next thing is mention the answers in mcq clearly at least mention the option at least you have to mention the option for example all the mcqs mostly belong to section a so you have to start with section a answer 1 and let's say the answer for that for question number 1 is option number a so this is the least you will be writing option a but i would suggest you write the complete answer given in the option for example the answer for question number 1 was limestone so you have to completely mention the answer along with the option number the next thing is for example you have a question which is based on difference then you have to attempt that particular question in the tabular form rather than going for the paragraph this will make your answer look more presentable to the examiner as well as it will increase the chance of you getting the full mark for that particular question i have a sample of an answer sheet which is given at the cbsc portal itself so in this a student has attempted a difference based question in the tabular form so students that's all for chemistry i hope you will follow all these strategies and tips in order to write your paper effectively and to score good so all the very best and stay tuned with us for more informative videos in this series thank you take care and bye bye